lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim Robinson. Do you have an upcoming event? Well, I encourage you to book Beyond the Fence family for an amazing experience. Beyond the Fence is a talented group of men and women who have toured the world to display their talents of song and ministry. Did I forget to mention multi-award winners? They're your one-stop shop for making your events the best in the city. Book Beyond the Fence today at beyondthefence.org. Click Menu, then Contact. Beyond the Fence, your audience will thank you. Hi, this is Kimmy Kim with Elation Radio. I want to get a shout-out to David Bitten on his birthday. It's your birthday. Go, Shardy. It's your birthday. I just want to thank you, Beyond the Fence um, Entertainment. I know you are more than music, and I really appreciate you, uh, David Bitten, Shay Sam, and True Tube. And once again, happy birthday, David. Beyond the fence. 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 Yes, sir. I got you. True, too. You know I got you. The jewels. Bro, ski. You know I had to fly in on this one. G Will. You know what it is. You see coming like this, this one. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. My problems got slaughtered a mile, the harder I fall. Fighting like a spirit cat. With a back against the wall. Slip, but I didn't fall. I tapped into the fall. Ignorance, I've been through it. That's why I don't want you to do it. I want to influence because I'm already proven. You can be fan of a Jewish. Come at the end of the ruin. Who are we fooling? What are we proving? What are we doing? What are we building? What are we giving to some of our children? Build the thing, not just the industry thing. We do more than just rap a thing. Beyond the fence, the family tree with the queen. We do with the worship with the king. And we protect the women by any means. And our children own everything. Yeah. Tell us to the years I want my own. No fight, no life. Thinking everything is alright. Turn around and see my father in the light. Back in all three, that took my my whole life. It's even one brother, one mother believing. No fun on the life I'm weeping. They say things happen for a reason. I'm believing, we're fleeing. Still offer to my time bleeding. I'm in the full vision, thank it. Structures in my life do need it. Stay friends, I'm a no case here. In the bathroom, the past got leaving. I'm a man of mind, I'm pleased with the first person who cries for me meeting. And I brought home a job in a heater. Said I'm a loser, I said, and I'm in here. I'm in the pen, I'm a left with a cheater. That's fine, I'm always loyal to. We'll see the patella ride the all skills. We'll see the never stops. And I know I keep preaching on what I swap. I never will be this smooth with the floor. I won't be defeated. Swag so magnificent. Due to the omnipotent. Yes, you know it's heaven. Call me George Jefferson. I'm walking in your glory if I keep my eyes focused. Never turn away from the one who first loved me, man. I go by G Will. I'm in the building, man. Good looking on the head off the game just advanced. My focus so clearly beyond 2020. Thanks to BDF, there's a new addition to the family. What I got in my music. Principal purpose, I'm much of the use. It's the proven no way that I'm losing. Stop my dudes, it's supposed to delusion. The BDF revolution. Wake up, ain't no more way losing. Comes to the union, we are. Appreciate your contribution. Awaken a sneak of time to find our bad and hurts. Conduct with metal. Just as many Bring it together for the better men. Bring it together be better men. All of the people in children. Just wait on school better Take over the nation and tell them. Hold up the world with one hand. Choose who the vision is. We are looking at watching the all the men. We are the men. We are the men. We are the men. We are the men. Most of this one and I've seen have been drafted. Armors been fitted and heavily crafted. Run to the battle through power I'm blasted. I do this for real, pretend it's a strategy. Do this a classic. With the back of the book, this is this and I easily pass it. All the sacrifice of training, the blood and the tears when I laugh it. Yeah, I'm a cast. I wanna speed it up. The label say slow it down. I keep my medication, try polos, traveling the speed of sound. I'm lost and now I'm found. Love you on the way up and they hate you on the way down. And it's never about the setting. It's the jewels that's in your crown. Judge. We are, we are, we are. We 
Welcome, welcome, welcome to Beyond the Radio. Welcome to Beyond the Radio. And you better be smiling. Beyond the fences in the building. Welcome to Beyond the Radio. Shout out to the Elation family. It's your main man, David Ben. I am in the building and I am smiling because I have every reason to. Yes, I do. And I want to say thank you so much for the birthday shout out. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for real. I was not expecting that and touched my heart. I'm thankful. I am so grateful. I love being a part of the Elation family. I mean, it's it's this is so who I am. The people that that I'm attached to, the people that 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 we're in the same company. It's a beautiful thing, and I know that this is where I belong. So I'm saying again, thank you. I appreciate it from my heart, for real, sincerely. We had an awesome time. Oh, it's going down tonight. We could, hey, oh, let me go ahead and just go. Just. Shay Samuels, are you in the building? Shay Samuels is in the building. Hey, I changed it up. I changed it up. You see how I changed it up? I did. I heard that drum roll. I heard the drum roll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I ain't going to even ask you how your week been or your weekend has, has been because I know how it was. True, yes, true. but I do want to give a shout out to I do want to give a shout out to the Elation family as well. Kimmy Kim, that was an amazing birthday shout out. I love how happy she was about it. Happy birthday, Happy <laughs> birthday. We love you, Elation family, and I agree with David. This is exactly why we are where we are and we love our Elation family and we are um just so happy to be a part of uh the Elation Radio family all together. We love you guys. Yeah, yes. Well, kings and queens, men and women of God, ladies and gentlemen, Jay Truth will not be on with us tonight because we wore him out. We wore him out. We wore him out. Yes, we did. (laughs) Yes, we did. David we wore had, him out, everybody. Yes, we had an awesome time. Um, <laughs> uh oh. Let's talk about it, Shay. The Blue Rose Bistro weekend. Yeah. That was that was a nice, nice moment. Um yes. for me for me because we, we tried this before. Um and I want people to understand how family, <laughs> you know, like um, we talked about this before, that family isn't always blood, right? But then at the same time, um, the ones that this, this family, you got to understand when, when it's okay to disagree and move forward, right? It's like I think it's healthy for us to understand, like, we can disagree in life and still be able to move forward. And I notice when relationships, um, you know, uh, go AWOL, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, when the relationship between people mm-hmm. not going right, then we feel that we have to hate one another, we have to dislike one another. So being in this business, the reality is you just don't always agree with people. Yeah. And that's fine. You don't have to have no bad blood. You don't have to talk ill about anyone. You just got to understand and say, listen, you got to be mature enough to say, listen, um, I love you, 
I know you care for me, but we differ on this platform the way our visions is. Our visions do not line up, so it's only healthy for us to just move forward, but um, in our own lane, in our own direction, and, and, and go ahead and fulfill our own vision, what God has for us, right? So we rebranded. And we, because we 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 did a launch before we did a uh, we we did a show and things didn't go as we wanted them to, and this one went so well. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> I mean, our transition, even from radio, I gotta be honest. Like even from radio, everything the transition was right on time. It was like perfect timing for so many things. Tonight, uh, um, over the weekend, say what? What did this? What did that do? When I, when I say these things, what what does that mean to you? Well, you know, I I agree. I guess I'm going to be agreeing with you tonight a lot. <laughs> you know, um, I love that you that you acknowledged um, what we were talking about, the transformation and just how things have been going uh, when you make a mind decision to just transform the way that you think. And when you do that, uh, the things around you change, people around you, it changes. And you actually start walking in the direction that you're supposed to go, um, the direction that God wants us to go into anyway. um, There's a destined place for all of us. And so what it means to me is that, um, you know, sometimes you have to make tough decisions, right? Um, there are relationships that we hold on to, and there are, um, um, I would say, relationships, people. There are things that we hold on to that we should not be holding on to uh, that weigh us down. And the reality of it is, is sometimes we can be so loyal to those things, knowing that it's time for us to uh, to move forward, to push forward for the better of whatever it is that we're doing, right? So I won't just put it on music. I won't put it on just on Beyond the Fence and, and radio, but for the listener, whatever it is that you're doing, um, you know, that those type of relationships can really weigh you down. And so what David said, I, I agree with, you know, once you make a decision, <laughs> and, and here's the thing, uh, I have to be reminded that we were in agreement without knowing that we were in agreement as a founder and CEO of Beyond the Fence. (laughs) You know, we we, we talked about it and we said, we we both said, speaking of radio, we both said relations radio at the same time. (laughs) At the same time. And so we were were in agreement. And so there was no discord. Uh, But once you start making a decision to move forward and do what you know is right, even when it feels wrong to others, um, I believe that you get what we where we are now. Uh, we had an amazing time this weekend. I know you'll get into it, uh, but we had an amazing time this weekend. And prior to this weekend, you know, we tried to do it knowing that we were supposed to be moving forward. Uh, and, and we did it, and um, it did not turn out the way that it did last night. And last night was indicative to how things should have been. But, you know, it came back around. We walked into it, and we got what we got last night. So I can't wait for the listeners to hear about it. Stay tuned so you can hear all about uh, the BDF Live at the Blue Rose Bistro right here in Atlanta, in Douglasville, Georgia. Yes, 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 yes. Well, I was excited because I remember when we did this before right there in Georgia. Uh Right, Right there in Georgia. And, you know, we had a whole crew, and we spent all this money. <laughs> Ooh, well, you, 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 I would just say that you preaching now, David. <laughs> yeah, we spent all this money, got, got this big venue, and Ooh. had a nice crowd. We had, look, we just shot our video uh, vlog. We got our videographer. We just did it big, right? But at the end of the day, the artist was happy, but they wondered why I mean you was unhappy, and that was because we had a big show. Yes, 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 but we had no substance, and I think yeah. that's where we learned. 
I think we learned from, well, there was no substance out of these. Yeah, you, you can rap, you can sing, okay, cool, but there was no substance. There was no transformation. Like, we really want people to understand that when we say beyond the fence, there is just so much more than just music. It's just so much more than entertainment. Like, it really is a mindset. Um, if you really believe that you're more than a conqueror, think about it. To be more, not just a conqueror alone, to conquer, you're just happy to conquer something. But to say yeah. that you're more than that, like you're even much more than that, <laughs> I mean, that is, that means that's how much, that's how amazing we are as people. And I, uh, yeah. Not, and not to discredit them, I just think that they didn't live out to their potential. The potential yeah. that we've seen, I just don't think that they understood it. I think they, they felt they was at their level, and we saw so much yeah. more in them. In, 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 in doing that situation, we had to refocus. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And now structuring a family and... You know, we're um, just like-minded, and it's supportive, and we love on one another. And for uh, all of us to come together like we did, because we all came from out of town, and, you know, we got true to. <laughs> we wore true to out. He come with his love. <laughs> Man, and then you got G. Will. He come with his wife. Yeah. Kids and his mom and dad and it was just then my my guys that I was incarcerated with that was an yeah moment. that was amazing so you know my guy drove one of my guys drove two hours to come see me so yes. for someone to drive two hours to come see me I couldn't have been too bad of a person you know so. That's what I wanted people to understand, and all of us who who are beyond offense, you know, we're doing fairly well in life, and that's what I want people to see, man. We see these guys coming in their cars; they have significant others who who that's who they're with. Um, yeah, they, they they well dressed. Um, they they have class. They have you know respect. And you can see the the passion and and, and compassion and love. Yes, and that's what I yes, mean. definitely family envi- family oriented environment last night, and yeah. that that was one of the highlights as well. Yes, yes, yeah. And, and you MC, you MC, you did a good job. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, you know it. So, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Now go ahead because you know I I go all the way to. Uh, to the uh, to the music break. <laughs> no, I was gonna yeah, say, you know, um, you know, just to just to kind of bring it full surface, you know, as we as we talk about just kind of like how our mindsets change, you know, we always talk about going beyond your fence. And um, David has um, a, one of his uh, songs. He says, "Let's go beyond the fence, strengthen your character." And that's what beyond the fence is all about: strengthening the character. And sometimes, you know, when you're in boot camp, they're there to strengthen your character, your endurance, and it's not the best place to be. I don't even know why people would sign up for boot camp, David, because they know that it's going to be um, hard, you know. And so uh, there are people who make it, and there are some people who don't. And the ones who make it, they come out with a transformed mind. They come out with transformed behavior. And what we want people to know about Beyond the Fence as a whole is, that's what we do. Um, a lot of people think they're coming in to us just for the music aspect because they hear the word label. But there takes, you know, and even in business, there's this 30, 60, 90 day rule. Um, it takes 30 days really just to kind of get to know the, the personality of somebody or their traits or habits, right? And, and especially with us, not everyone lives in the same state. So it's not like we can all fellowship with one another. We can't just go around the corner to the house. We can't just go out to eat, you know. So we're solely talking on the phone, having meetings, and we might see each other like we did for the first time for some of us, you know, at an event. But we had time to really partner with these people that are that were there yesterday, our family that was there yesterday. 
Um, so when you come aboard with Beyond the Fence or you hear Beyond the Fence, you know, we think about the fact that we're more than music. We say it all the time, hashtag that. We are so much more than music. We look at the character first, and that's how we choose our artists. We choose them based off of the character. Now, just like any relationship, you can choose to move forward and grow, or you can choose to stay in <laughs> the muck and, and, and fall by the wayside. <laughs> right. And what that's I know true. that's happening, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, that's true. Keep going. What I, know, what I noticed happening was as we began to challenge uh, the other artists, they begin to fall by the wayside. A lot of people don't want to come out of the mess that they're in. And it's not just as artists. This is speaking to anybody who just doesn't want to transform. You just don't want to come out of the mess that you're in. So instead of grabbing a hold, this is what mentorship is about. People look for mentors so that they can go to the place that they aspire to be. uh, Typically, the mentor is already gone where you want to be. So as artists and as a founder and CEO, we've been where most of the artists want to go. Unfortunately, some of the artists and some people in your life, they may feel they're already there. And so what you get is uh, the talk of hate. You start getting slighted. You start feeling, you know, they start making you feel like, um, you know, you're not giving them a fair shake. Uh, You know how many people, even as radio personalities, how many times we hear music and people say, this is going to be the song that saves the lives of the whole globe. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> right? <laughs> this, this is going to be the song that changes the lives. Like somebody's like, God gave me this song and it's going to change everyone's life. And you know what? It doesn't even scratch the surface of a radio. But because we talk about good character so much, we try to help you develop that because the reality of it is people don't buy your music. They buy you. People don't buy your music. They buy you. And so if you're dealing with people, whether it be artists or just in relationships who do not want to transform their minds, unfortunately, you have to make the decision to move forward. Now, if I could just go on the flip side of it real quick, I'm looking at the time, make sure that I'm not caught up on the music break. But if you look at the artists that we have at this point, ooh, David, when we talk about seasoned, we're talking about seasoned artists. Yes. Oh, my God. (laughs) Man, I wish we could have had Key Wheel and True Two up here, but we wore them out. Oh man, you know they they've been busy this weekend. Shout out to G Will who just had another event right after leaving uh, Georgia. Had another event tonight, so shout out to him for doing that. Uh, but yeah, this would have been really good. But what I noticed last night, David, was it was easy for me to MC because I was able to spend time and fellowship, even all, not in person with all of them. Well, yeah, in person with all of them. But I had time to spend with each one of them. So as mm-hmm. an MC, it wasn't hard for me to speak to their character. Yes. It wasn't hard for me to sell them to an audience that was unknown to us, some of them. It wasn't mm-hmm. hard for me to give them big ups for the great work that they've done because they put in the work. They really did put in the work. A lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> you work I mean, with all. <laughs> yes. I mean, and, and you know what, G. Will, um, one thing I, I love about him is how he DJ our set, and yet DJs his own set, you know? Yes. And mm-hmm. and to be multitasked like that, man, and the brother came with a with a with some some nice, elegant song. Yeah. And, and what I want to yeah. say is this. The thing about G. Will is, and we got six minutes before we go to a music break, but the thing about G. Will, he got the song brand new. But then he, he, he got April Love, right? And April yeah. Love is a song just saying, you know what, sweetheart? I love you. And I really <laughs> You know, I just love you, honey. And that's the <laughs> song that he got. But, but, but Shay, tell me, because see, this is how we want people to understand. Like when we, the reality is, when we brand G Will, we want people to understand that 
Love is the gospel. Yeah, that's good, David. Love is the gospel. So if you're talking about a husband and a wife loving one another, and it's not, you know, you 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 got to use proper judgment, and that's what I'm saying. Like, come on now, I'm talking to adults here. You 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 know what song is appropriate and what song is not appropriate. You know, you know the yeah. difference between something um, something R. Kelly going to write versus Stevie Wonder or Marvin Gaye. It is going to feel the love. You know what I'm saying? You 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 have. Two different artists with Prince and Michael Jackson. <laughs> Both great, but just two mm-hmm. different artists. One is just a little bit more nastier than the other one. A little bit more cleaner for the kids. Yeah, yeah. So that's when you got to say, okay, I, I got to pick which one. So with G. Will, he's just talking about loving his wife. And these songs that he got talking about loving his wife, me personally, I don't know people like who enjoy, you know, like we're all here because, you know, our parents, <laughs> they knew one another <laughs> according to the scripture. <laughs> and we have our own children because we knew that, that their mother, we, we knew them. And here come the, you know, but when do we ever turn on Kirk Franklin or <laughs> Donnie Hathaway, you know, while we're, Knowing one another. So it's okay. I just want to say it's okay to have that balance. To understand, man. Yeah, soft definitely. music is cool. You know what I'm saying? Soft music. just you just vibing because you love, man. And, and, and when you bring two people closer together to love one another, that's, that's, that's what the Bible is telling us to do. So don't get caught up in saying that, well, especially when they're saved, dog. You know what I'm saying? We got to start maturing mm-hmm. in the body. The yeah. body has to start maturing. Like, let's stop being so elementary with our living. And let's start yeah. transforming, like, really some real transformation. Really go beyond the fence in your mind and your spirit. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. So we want to bring good, positive vibes, good, positive music. And it ain't about a sex thing. It's about if you turn on that type of music and you just want to have a good candlelight dinner with one another. Just hold each other's hand. Yeah. Whether you're just sitting in your car looking across the bridge and you see a full moon, you just just hold each other's hand, listen to that G-Wheel, April love. (laughs) (laughs) And that's what I loved about last night, too. We were able to be that diverse with the music as well, and it was very well received by every person that was there. So shout out to you guys for enjoying the music. Oh, yeah, it was so received. I was excited. When I'm still excited. (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell people. I'm gonna tell the listeners to just you know stay tuned because we are talking about the VDF live concert that we had yesterday. It was actually unplugged. We're gonna talk about the unplugged version of it right after the music break. But I just want to make sure that you guys stay tuned because we're gonna go ahead and get unplugged after the music break. But David, you can go ahead. I just want to make sure that everybody knew to stay because we are going to go unplugged. Yes, y'all heard SEX. Y'all heard sex. So we're going to talk about it. We got unplugged yesterday. <laughs> I really did get unplugged. But you know what? That was a good idea to go unplugged. Because, you know, normally we decided that we're going to get a show. And that's why I'm saying we learned. We have learned from some mistakes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> We have, and I mean, it, it was just amazing. You guys can catch the videos on our pages at Beyond the Fence um, Entertainment on Facebook and on Instagram at Beyond the Fence as well. And if you haven't liked or subscribed to those pages, please do so during the music break. So, therefore, where's the music? Jump changing it up where's on the music you. Uh, okay, all right. Where the music at? Where the music at? Yo, it's your boy David Bentley. I'm going to be on the fence. 
You know, when I was a child, I, I thought I was a child. I spoke as a child, and, and I understood as a child, you know what I mean? But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Yeah. I went from a male to a mentor. Good guy gone bad, I was never bad. Just hustling and grinding for what I never had. Sassy sold my first pack. I never looked back. Baking soda and water. Show me how to cook crack. Tennessee and weed. Chilling with the hood rats. Heather chill. XC pills. I let my book bag look. I did what I did as a kid, so stand down. Got caught with my pants down. Now I'm a man now. Nobody fronted me. Never asked for handouts. I was low key. Never had to stand out. School of hard knocks. Never be in the class clown, this part of my background I'm talking to facts now, people know me, considered as the OG Who emotions won't control me, immaturity don't provoke me Look, because of the old me, I owe me Troy G, JT, Big Brad was there to console me Yeah Up in the trenches with the killers and hustlers. On the riller, you can be a killer and still be a buster. Fed my pit bulls, hard white, no cut on the butter. Turned against me undercover, now my kids gotta suffer. Ten of life, what conspiracy, no justice at all. They gave me 15 years, a homie claim he ain't mumble at all. I touched down, they realized I didn't fumble the ball. Staggered a little bit, but cause of the fall. I didn't stumble and fall. Kept my head up, educated myself. Heard my pit bulls growling, contemplating my death. I cried myself, felt like I was living in hell. My cell, he told me to thank God that I'm living and well To get a grip on yourself, live and set it exist To make a better decision Helping the children, put them in better position Seeing none, just listen, give them a vision Keeping them out of these prisons Yeah On the fence, Wake you know. Up. You ever been dreaming? Wake up. Yeah, it just felt so real. Wake up. I just want to stay in the dream, you know. David, wake up. Yeah, he want to rest in peace. He don't want to rest in pieces, and you wonder why he gave his life to Jesus. Ride with a Glock nine, best stone. Bought his first kilo. It was stepped on. Police took his re up, now he down to an eight ball. Stressed out, smoking the weed, drinking on eight balls. 19 years old, throwing them gang signs. Wrong frame of mind, trying to stay in line. Mama preached to him, he didn't listen. Said he waited, he living, he headed to prison. Thought she was tripping, this ain't the old days. See your mother keep understanding the old age. Yeah. Lily cop mo, yay. Chopped the brick up, then split it four ways. Took four days, he about to grind. Wake up, count time. Cause he was just dreaming. Dreaming. He was just dreaming. He was just dreaming. He was just dreaming. Dreaming. Jumping on the bed, daddy wake up, thank you God for a pretty white gorgeous without the makeup. <laughs> pretty brown eyes, Holly Berry cut, Valentine's Day every day, he love her very much. Big nigga at the park, take a walk in the whole hand. Thank you God for the inner child, sitting on his grown man. It's time for church, mama toes and she preaching. Plus he curious to see all the souls she be reaching. Kids getting bad, play fighting in the back. Told him sit down, clean up the act. But daddy have to come and teach him. He was smiling on his face, he don't want them to see it. They just some awesome little children, he just can't believe it. It is a wonderful day, he like, thank you Jesus. Wake up, count time for you. He just dreaming. Wake up, wake up. 
Welcome to Beyond the Radio, and you better be smiling. Beyond, Beyond the, the fences, fences in, in the building. Yes, that was Dreaming by David Benton featuring Shay Samuels. I was actually jamming to that song. Uh, we're going to give a shout out to our sponsors before we go into this segment. If you were just tuning in tonight, we are talking about the BDF Live Unplugged that happened right here in Douglasville, Georgia. So please, please, please stay tuned. Go get a friend. Go get a friend. And as David Benton would say, go get a friend. But shout out to the sponsors, Call the G Voice, Lady Wisdom After Midnight. If you heard the voiceover at the beginning, that commercial was uh, none other than Paula G, Voice Lady Wisdom After Midnight. If you are looking for a great voiceover, she is who you would want to contact at PaulaGVoice.com. You can also follow her on uh, Paula G Voice on Facebook as well. Tell her Beyond the Fence sent you. Also, Soul Sisters Naturals, you can find them on Facebook as well at Soul Sisters, that's S I S. T-A-H-S Naturals. You guys and ladies, I have been using these products now for the last couple of months, and I stand by them. You hear me? I'm doing my granddaughter's hair with it. I'm doing my hair with it. I'm using all the body oils and the incense all at once in the house. It's a one-stop shop to all of your natural body needs. So Soul Sisters Naturals on Facebook. Make sure you let her know that Beyond the Fence sent you. I love graphic design. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, the oh incense God, are the amazing. Incense, so you shouldn't have said you brought up the incense. I'm about to light up one. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, the incense come in all different uh, smells, and uh, I, I like my favorite one is frankincense because it does come in. Guess what? I wasn't a person who would use incense before that. You know, David, I wouldn't use incense in my home. Uh, but there's just mm-hmm. something about these incense that make um, it bearable for me to breathe. So check her out on at Soul Sisters Natural on Facebook. Also, graphics designs by True2. You want to make sure you connect with True2 if you are looking to get a logo. Uh, once you go to the Beyond the Fence page after this weekend, you'll see a few of the logos that True2 made, primarily the brand new uh, uh, single uh, um, the T-shirts were made by – the design was made by Jerry True to Alan True to and G. Will rocked it with his family this weekend. So go ahead to www.beyondthefence.org, get in contact with True to and we'll get those designs over to you. We cannot forget Tess Hair Braiding at 5910 Kirkwood Highway in Wilmington, Delaware. Ladies, if you've seen my pictures over the last few weeks, I have gone natural. I have gone natural. <laughs> Tess Hair Braiding did not do it, but guess what? When I visit Delaware for the holidays, mm-hmm. I'm going to be going to Tess Hair Braiding. So go ahead and get your hair braided by Tess Hair Braiding, sewn in, whatever you're going to get done. Let her know that Beyond the Fence family sent you. And And last but not least, David, let's talk business. I'm going to let you talk about that sponsor. Well, let's talk business. It is, um, shall I say, Shay Samuels, (laughs) if you really want to grow your business, I mean really want to grow your business from the bottom up. Have you ever felt your was at the bottom and you say, I just want to be bigger than I am now? Well, you should. Let's talk business with Shay Samuels. 
Um, was that a good I one? I could not have done that any better. I could not have done it any better <laughs> myself. Yes, yes, yes. Let's Talk Business is the Beyond the Fence expansion. We are forever growing. We're, ever, we're always thinking of ways to uh, to help people grow, and that is what Let's Talk Business is all about. So visit us on the Facebook page at Let's Talk Business and the Instagram page at LTB Consultant Group. And if you're starting a business, if you're trying to rebrand or re-strategize, Let's Talk Business. And, David, it's Let's back talk. to you. Yes, yes, yes. And on a serious note, like, Let's Talk Business definitely does have great results. It does have great results, I want to say that. So I'm witnessing the results, so that's that's uh, awesome. It's an awesome extension. So I'm thankful for that, you know, for the work that, um, that's been put in for it. But, you know, this this at the bistro, the unplugged, I got I got to... I got to say, I smiled the whole time, Shay. I'm talking about I smiled the whole time. But when it when it comes to, to um, these type of events, I love the way that people received the messages as well. Yes. Because yes. what it is, we, we want to create that environment. That people can, you know, they can come and like, just like on Sundays, man, you go to church, you say, right, I'm going to get fed. We got to realize everybody is Ooh, not playing the same, you know, fruits and vegetables. Every, I mean, everybody's not planting the same seeds, you know what I'm saying? Different seeds. But when it's harvest time, everybody benefit from different harvests how they pick it. You know what I'm saying? You might eat cucumbers, you might not eat tomatoes, but that's fine. Cucumbers is good for you. That don't mean that they're bad. That don't mean tomatoes is bad. That doesn't mean you choose cucumbers because some people love tomatoes more. So right. what we're doing, we still feeding the flock. we still giving them, even though people might say, well, there was um, a bar in there. Well, that place is a place that's <laughs> there. They have a right to do that. We're the entertainment. You know, so when we come in, we still inspiring people. To be better versions of themselves every day, to to spiritually and mentally go beyond the fence, because you always striving for righteousness. That's just what it's about, the transformation of the mind. So when we implant any seeds, uh, and then we just entertain them with song. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. I think we as a people, as a culture, need to understand these environments that we create. It it. it Church is what you decide to make it for yourself. It don't have to be as traditional. You know what I'm saying? If we're giving a powerful message and people receiving it and lives are changing, like their action is changing, not not yeah. not how much they can, like, quote a scripture, but their actual actions are changing. You know what I'm saying? Like they better stewards of the community. They say yeah. money better. We won't, you know, we, we won't uh, – Men to be able to treat their wives better, just like you know the song that me and you did. Like we, sex is selling at an all time high, man. These women really feeling like okay. Um, if you go and you be a stripper or something, and not to degrade them, but if that's the way to get money, I'm I'm not here to cast that type of judgment. You know their own life gonna cast judgment. It ain't up to me, but I'm saying like. This narrative is being painted saying, look, you can make it if you do this. Because that's what they're pushing. Just like the drug dealers. Man, this is how you can make it out. And these are air quotes. You, this is how you can make it out the hood, right? You sell mm-hmm. drugs, be a rapper, or be a basketball player, or some type of entertainer, and you can make it out the hood. We always focus on making it out the hood instead of building up the hood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To something that, that, that's great. Like, we're right there. That's why it's called a project. See? It's a project. Mm-hmm. We put them all together. They're not going to get it. They're still not going to get it. They're still not going to come together. Let me tell you why. Because they haven't went mentally beyond the fence. Their minds haven't changed. Mm-hmm. So atmosphere what we created at the Blue Rose Bistro was something more powerful than just music. So when they heard yeah. all the, saw the transformation of the mind, then that's when they started receiving, like, oh, oh who, these people, who are these people? Because people keep coming out. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, heads were I turned. saw a lot of that too. Yes, because they saw what we actually stood for. Um, yeah. So, go ahead, Jay. I know you got something to say for him. I'm saying. No, I, I was, you know, I was going to say um, my, one of my favorite parts is when we went in the crowd and we started asking people where they were from. Uh, Knoxville showed out. Shout out to Knoxville, Tennessee. Y'all showed uh, out for yeah. sure. <laughs> Knoxville showed out. But what what I really enjoyed is um, one of your uh, one of your uh, one of the friends that you were incarcerated with. Um, shout out to Mr. Danny Green. I uh, went to him and I asked him, what did he get out of that night? And so this speaks to your point that people really did get something out of it. It gave him more joy to see that you were actually continuing your vision from when you were behind the fence. And and it was so funny because uh, when he said it, he was so excited about it. You know, there's a lot of people in our lives who aren't as excited right in front of us as the people who have witnessed where we've come from. The people who know who we are and they're familiar with who we are, um, and that could be friends, close friends, or family members, but this person came, like you said, the person who drove two hours to come see you, enjoy a night with his significant other, but he was more, uh, he was more excited in celebrating with you your freedom. That actually made me really, really happy because that's what Beyond the Fence is all about. Yes, yes, I was, I was so, so like, so happy because those two guys were in Texarkana, Texas with me in Behind the Fence. And they seen Mm -hmm. me rap then. And watch this, (laughs) this is so for real. I was singing too. Like I would sing. You know, I wasn't like sometimes I rap, sometimes I sing. And people was like, Man, look, man, sing that song that you sung before. <laughs> they would actually have me to sing. Like doing Christmas and this is so so real. Like uh Christmas holidays. You know, um mm-hmm. that bring up to Christmas Day. That song I, I sung that song yeah. right there and mm-hmm. Just the, they was like, man, you are an entertainer. You're not a rapper. So people got to understand. When I come in, I say, Look, I'm not yes. just a rapper, man. I'm an entertainer. Yeah. That come from somewhere. You get what I'm saying? That's not me trying to be mm-hmm. arrogant. That's not me trying to be full of myself. They come from a place of endearment. They come from people who seen so much in me. You know, they help me see more of my value. So when I see brothers right. in the prison system can help me see a better version of myself then guess what? I'm going to take this same heart and implant seeds while I'm out here beyond the fence. Yeah. So when these brothers yeah. come, when they see my actions lined up with who I was behind the fence, they was all overjoyed. We was all so mm-hmm. joy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it was a beautiful thing. So that's what we want people to understand, man. Coming to these type of events, we have no reason not to say, well, man, black people come together and they'll never have fun. It's always got to be something, right? <laughs> this, is just, this, is just, this is just the narrative that's being painted. This is the picture. This is the picture that's been painted, and this is the narrative. So we said, well, what about something like this? Like we had positive energy. Great environment, yeah. great food, yeah. literally great food. Um, people uh, drank wine. They drank alcohol. They drank heavy alcohol, but they dro- drunk responsibly. And that was the people that was coming in. They have a right to, to do that. And we also have a right to uh, be who we are by entertaining them and just not telling them really to, well, to tell them to uh, change their life because we see wrong in them. We don't know them, but we can plant some encouragement to them. And how they apply it to their life is totally up to them. But we did our job, and I think that's yeah. the most beautiful thing. One of the most beautiful things that I took from um, last night, Shane. So what about you? Yeah, I believe what about- that. So. As believers, you know, I think we get so hung up on the four walls, right? And so as you were talking, I was just thinking about what you said earlier. You can create what the four walls look like. 
And so, you know, uh, shout out to the people who aren't afraid to go in the trenches to find people. Right. And so um, what what we were what we were creating this unplugged was for a number of reasons. And honestly, the unplugged is going to go from state to state. So just be on the look at it. Look out um, from for the announcements to come um, on our pages again, beyond the fence on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, but what we wanted to do right now, we're all living in a pandemic. Right. There's no way around living in the pandemic. And so there's a lot of people who are afraid to go out. There's a lot of people who are just watching the news all day. Um, A lot of people who have experienced um, death in their families and people who have been sick because of COVID. A lot of people lost their jobs because of COVID. A lot of people and family members, I just interviewed a a young lady who said that socially her daughter is going through a depression because she's used to socializing with her friends and the depression came out even more. And so beyond the fence, what we did with this BDF Live Unplugged is we unplugged ourselves so that we can touch everybody. It's basically what we did. We unplugged ourselves so that we could touch everybody. We knew that there was going to be a very diverse crowd. And, um, David, I want to get to the testimony in this, too, before we end the show. But we knew that it was going to be a very diverse crowd. And because we wanted to make sure that every person that came was blessed, we rolled up our sleeves and we got unplugged. (laughs) We unplugged. And I can't tell you the number of people, and it's not just about the people going to our social media sites to like the pages, but those people were very intrigued. They came for one thing, but they got something totally different out of it. They saw that as a label, we were able to let our hair down. We were able to have fun. True to did some comedy. Everybody laughed. DJ uh, yeah. G. Will, he went in on doing this spinning and the DJ. We're a very talented group of people who understand how to let our hair down, still be graceful with it, still be respectful with it, and still be obedient with what our ministries are. But the reality of it is, is sometimes you just have to roll your sleeves up and give the people what they need. That's true. Not just what they want, but give the people what they need. There were so many people there last night who would not have gone in an environment like that because they were afraid to be around more than a certain amount of people due to the pandemic. That's what the pandemic is doing. And they got there, and I guarantee you, if you look at the video, those people forgot where they were. (laughs) <laughs> the same people who were afraid to be, I don't want to be around anybody. Well, guess what? They were the ones dancing around because everyone with needed the mask that. Off. With the mask off, right. So when it was a social, <laughs> we we had social distance in effect. We had sanitizer out there. And the theme was mask up and come out. Yes. The theme was mask up and come out, but we knew that we needed to meet people where they were. I want to share this testimony really quick, David. Please. In July uh, July twenty second, two thousand twenty, Beyond the Fence was scheduled to be at this very place. And when we were booking this place, we were looking to pay a bit of money, not a lot. We were looking to pay a bit of money um to have this event. We were scheduled and then the pandemic hit. So the pandemic shut the restaurant down just like any other restaurant. And when the restaurant started to open back up uh sometime just a few months ago. Beyond the Fence was the first label that they called. Now, when they did that, they did that with the notion and the understanding of who we were. What I mean is they knew that we weren't secular artists. They knew that they weren't going to get every song, a Shaka Khan, a Lauryn Hill, a (laughs) India Ari. They knew that, and they still called us not just to be a part of the Blue Rose, but to partner with them for the entertainment piece. And so that says a lot because guess what? We didn't have to pay a dime to do what we did yesterday, but we were still a blessing, and they knew who to call right away. There are a number of artists here in Atlanta, Georgia. You guys know Atlanta, Georgia. There's a lot of people here that could do anything. But as soon as their doors open back up, that's the testimony of it. Their doors open back up, and we were the ones to kind of spotlight and start 
what the entertainment piece would look like for that restaurant, and they were very pleased with it. So kudos to the Beyond the Fence family for doing an amazing job, and I want you guys to stay on the lookout for all of the Beyond the Fence unplugged events that are going to be coming to a state near you. You can get the information and stay tuned with going to www.beyondthefence.org or to our Facebook or Instagram page at Beyond the Fence. Yeah. Oh, man, I just – and, and I, that was well said, for real. Shit. That was well said. Um, because people, when it, it is a good feeling when people say, you know what, we want them. And it's just based on our character. Not trying yes. to be, you yes. know, over religious, not to be the super. It's just like, man, listen, man, we just, men and women of God, man, we just love people, man. Like, we just giving you practical principles that really can help you uh, reshape and reform and re, you know, really restructure your yeah. life. It's a mind yeah. that you got to have. And that's all we're doing. We're just taking the principles of Scripture. And the Bible clearly say, don't just be a reader of the word, but be a doer. Only thing we're doing is saying, listen, you have to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we just saying, we we tell you what's in, in the word to do. Right. Jesus did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He he had to walk the path. Everything we see, we yeah. see his miracles. But we gotta understand the miracles that Jesus did according to scripture. He had to work. That was work that he put in. So I yeah. want people to understand yeah. that it takes the work. Like he he he, he died uh, on the cross because of his works. If he didn't do nothing, he would just chill it. Like, I'm the son of God and just go swimming every day. <laughs> just enjoy the beach. You know, I'm pretty sure it was the beach back then. It was sand back then, so I'm pretty sure he could have went to the beach. And he did walk on water. So, look, he just could have walked on water all day. He could have been playing with the seals and whales. and I mean, he's the son of God, so he could make a new fish. Yeah. He just, yeah. He just chilling. But he didn't. He He made his life really productive. For humanity, he, that's why he said he, he wasn't really about the miracles. He was telling them, like, man, how long must I stay with you? That was because he wanted yeah. them to change their mindset mm. of what they thought a king should look like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, that's why they were saying, well, this is a new teaching. And then they was like, man, he doing this in the name of Beelzebub. Like, he was just evil, and he was just wrong for what he was doing. They said it was new. And he like, no, Jesus like, listen, this is very old, what I'm doing. You got to change you. Mm-hmm. Like, you mm-hmm. have to change. Yeah. That's why he said, Father, forgive them, for they not even know, they don't know what they do. Like, he's saying, man, they, they ignorant to this. Like, they really yeah. are ignorant. Sincere people, but ignorant. <laughs> Stiff necks. That don't yeah. mean that you that don't mean that you don't have intelligence. What we're saying is use your intelligence wisely and make proper decisions. Use your wisdom. Just make better judgment. So that's what we bring as well. We're just following scripture. Yeah, that yeah, that's it right there. We following script scripture, and it may not be you might not be accustomed to our way of doing it, but we're not causing mm-hmm. harm to people. Then that's what mm-hmm. we got to do. Use better judgment, man. I mean, come on now, let's 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 be intelligent about it. You know, let's use proper mm-hmm. judgment, man. Look, they're not screaming Jesus in every song, but you know what, man? They they, they do love people, and they are on God's platform. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and that's what we got to do. We got to focus on character, not tradition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, shout out to Elation again. This is Beyond the Radio, Shemaine Man, David Benton. You know, we in the building. You know, y'all better come back next week, because if not, <laughs> we going to sick Jesus, little brother, on you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> And Shout out to the BBS me. family. We love you guys. You all did an amazing job. And again, just stay tuned for the next unplug and where it's going to be. You only know that by going to www.beyondthefence.org. Elation YouTube page. Elation to page and subscribe, people. Subscribe. Yes. People. 
So Elation's got their big shout out yesterday too. Kimmy Kim, you got a big, great, big shout out from the Elation yeah. to the Elation family from the BDS family. So sure we're hoping is. that everybody, we know that they will. BDS said it, they'll do it. Sure will. Well, we love y'all and see y'all next week. So where the music at? Where the music at? Where the music at? It's your boy, David Benton. Ready production. Some people, they be like, yo, I just have a wish for my birthday. Or, or you know, they, they say I had three wishes. I wish for so much more for you. I wish for so much more. What I wish for is that we live more In the inner city living ain't so piss poor Realize we hypnotized by the discord We blow money fast, what you think we rent for? Yeah, did it be my kids wish I could have did more Wish women would be women and men would be men or There was no child abuse or domestic violence And the streets really moved in the act of silence Wish the Catholic priest wasn't pedophile And the government the future would Tell the truth instead of lying I'm born a lion My daddy name is David Lyons Wish we could do more laughing Instead of crying Wish we wasn't afraid of giants Wish we could all be inspired by David and Goliath Wish society wouldn't pacify Make us ride Turn back around and buy it It's just yeah, fighting through the valley of the shadow of death I keep my hands raised high when there ain't nothing left Try to stay focused on the Lord above With all the things going on in this world That's where my help comes from I wish, I wish That the world was a corrupt I wish, I wish That we could not spread love I wish, I wish I know that Jesus is in love Got my mind on my mission, G-O-D That's what's up Yeah, I wish we all get our credit straight Wish that single mother didn't have to wait for Section 8 I wish we all would investigate Why the world is crooked and we can't set it straight God is not the author of confusion So ask yourself, why there's so much confusion? With some husbands was so abusive Why you putting makeup on to cover up all the bruises? All we do is make excuses about the chains, the pains, and all the nooses. I wish religion wasn't so polluted. This is all facts you can't dispute it. Barely have a right to do it. So much can't be proven. I wish you really choosing to teach our students. Pursuing this illusion, turning us out of ruin. I wish our core system really would start moving. Through the valley of the shadow of death, I keep my hands raised high when there ain't nothing left. Try to stay focused on the Lord above. Got my mind on my mission, G-O-D-O, that's what's up.